Hello everyone, welcome back to Military TV. If you ask the question which country has the best tanks, then the Patriots will answer Russia. Then they will remember about Germany and the US. Those more advanced in military technology might mention Israel. Today, Military TV would like to present the five best fourth generation tanks in the world. So let's get started. At number five is Alte AHT. In 2007, the Turkish Ministry of Defense signed an agreement with Otakar to create the Altay AH-8 main battle tank. The tank received its name in honor of General of the Army Altay. The new tank is intended to replace the German Leopards and American M60s. The tank is armed with a 120mm MKEK-120 smoothbore cannon assembled under license from Hyundai Rotem, South Korea. The aimed firing range is 3 kilometers. Additionally, a remote module with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun is installed on the turret. Serial production of the tank has already begun, and an order for 250 vehicles has been received. In general, the opinion of experts agrees that while the Alte looks quite impressive, it loses to the Russian T-90A and the German Leopard 2. At number 4 is Type 10. The Type 10 is a Japanese main battle tank with a cost of approximately $6.5 million. The tank was developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited from the early 2000s and was first introduced in 2008. The tank should replace the obsolete Type 74 and complement the Type 90 tank fleet. The tank has a hydropneumatic suspension which allows you to change the clearance and tilt it left, right, forward, and backward. The Japanese has an engine with a capacity of 1,200 horsepower, which allows it to accelerate to 70 km per hour on the highway. Thanks to a powerful engine and low weight, the specific power is 27 horsepower per ton. The Type 10 is armed with a stabilized 120mm smoothbore cannon, JSW120. Recharging is carried out using a conveyor-type autoloader, AZ, located in the aft recess of the turret. The autoloader can accommodate 14 shots, a total of 28 shots. The tank also has a remotely controlled anti-aircraft gun, and the gun can use 120mm NATO ammunition. The Type 10 tank's fire control system is at a high level thanks to its good electronics. The tank has a panoramic sight that makes it easier to find targets on the battlefield. Thanks to the modern Type 10 ballistic missile system, it can hit a target the size of a soccer ball. Usually, tanks have good armor in the forehead, but Type 10 has all aspect protection, which is realized thanks to the use of ceramic, composite, modular armor. Thanks to such a reservation with a relatively small mass, the side projections are protected from cumulative ammunition with armor penetration up to 500 to 600 millimeters. At number 3 is Leclerc XLR Scorpion. The Leclerc XLR Scorpion is an upgraded version of the French Leclerc main battle tank. This upgrade option was developed and manufactured by the French company Nexter Systems by order of the Defense Forces Agency of the French Army. The modernization of the main battle tank of France is carried out as part of the Scorpion military program. The renovated XLR Scorpion will keep the same armament as the standard Leclerc tank, which consists of one 120mm cannon, one 12.7mm coaxial machine gun, and one remote weapon station armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. The tank is also upgraded with a new armor package that includes additional modular armor on the hull and the turret. The front part of the hull side is protected by thick passive armor while the rear part is fitted with a wire cage armor to protect the engine compartment against attacks of RPGs, rocket-propelled grenade. The rear part of the hull is also fitted with wire cage armor. It will have a combat weight of 57,000 kilograms and a length of 9.87 meters gun forward, a width of 3.71 meters, and a turret roof height of 2.53 meters. At number 2 is K2 Black Panther. The K2 tank is the main combat vehicle of the new generation of South Korea today. The combat vehicle was developed by the Defense Development Agency and the Rotom Department, subsidiary of Hyundai Motors, 
while the rate was made only on their internal developments. Officially, it is reported that the Black Panther is a descendant of another Korean K-2 tank, which in turn was a redesigned M1 Abrams. But the reality is that the K-2 Black Panther is a hybrid that takes the best of four tanks, Abrams, Leopard 2, Leclerc, and Soviet T-80. The combat weight of the Black Panther is 55 tons, and the dimensions are 3.1 by 7.5 by 2.2 meters. The tank is controlled by a crew of three people, commander, mechanic, and gunner. There is no loader, it was replaced by an automatic loader system, as in domestic tanks. The tank is equipped with a hydropneumatic suspension ISU, which allows an isolated effect on each suspension balancer and therefore can tilt the tank to its side, make it sit down, stand, and kneel. The maximum speed of the tank on the road is 70 km per hour. The K2 tank is armed with a 120mm German smoothbore gun L55, which has a barrel length of 6.6 meters. The tank also has armor package that includes composite armor protection and ERA explosive reactive armor blocks. An interesting feature of K2 is the presence of a millimeter range radar. This system allows you to find missiles and shells flying towards K2 and automatically try to destroy their electronic filling, or shoot smoke bombs to get a curtain from the side of the threat. But the tank, along with a lot of advantages and bells and whistles, has one big drawback, its price. The price of the Black Panther is $8.5 million. And at number one is T-14 Armada. There is currently no tank in the world to defeat the Russian technology giant T-14 Armada. The tank is so good that it is being written about all over the world, including Russia's biggest competitors, the United States. They also emphasize the fact that the Armada is something different from the available arsenal in the world. Russia has even been able to test it in real combat conditions in Syria, consolidating its characteristics. And they are mind-boggling. In addition to the fact that the T-14 tank has significant combat power, rate of fire and firing accuracy, it is capable of performing network-centric tasks, reconnaissance, target designation, remote control through a single control system. In combat conditions, the vehicle receives operational data online and provides automatic determination of ballistic parameters for controlling the fire of the entire tactical link. The main advantages of the tank Use of a universal platform. Placement of tankers in an armored capsule separate from the ammunition compartment. The possibility of operation with an uninhabited tower. The use of a pulse Doppler radar that reliably and quickly determines the target velocity vector. Active protection capable of protecting against various types of ammunition. The main performance characteristics of the tank. Its mass in combat configuration is 48 tons. Crew size 2 to 3 people, multi-layer armor with complex protection Afghanit and dynamic protection Malachite. The tank also has engine power up to 1600 horsepower. The T-14 tank is equipped with modern weapons that allow it to hit targets on the ground and in the air. A fire control system is used to increase the effectiveness of shooting. The main weapon of the tank is a 125mm smoothbore gun. Type 2A821M. Shooting is done remotely, loading is automatic. The firing range is 7 to 12 kilometers. Rate of fire, 11 to 12 rounds per minute. Machine gun armament was also installed on the T-14 tank. First of all, it is a cord type anti-aircraft machine gun, 12.7 millimeter caliber. It is housed in an individual tower with robotic mechanisms receiving signals from tank radars and thermal imagers. The machine gun is controlled remotely. A special system installed on the T-14 tank is capable of seriously disrupting the possibility of its identification by enemy radars. It distorts the resulting fields. Well, that's it guys for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching Military TV.